Okay, I got a little bit of extra tape space here, so we are going to make a video about this machine. Not really much of a video, but we are going to talk about it. This machine hails from a time when Windows XP was on its way out, and Windows Vista was on its way in. And it also hails from a time when the PC was becoming the big commodity item that it is today. It was well and truly on its way to such. It's an Aspire 3680. Nothing real high-end. It's got a Celeron MCPU in it. And I don't remember the clock speed. I think it's like 2 gigahertz or something like that. I'd have to go in and look. We can certainly do that, and we will do this all. Um, I think the RAM's been upgraded to 2 gigs total. Maybe even only 1 gig. I think it came with like 256 megs. So you know this is one of those powerhouse PCs. It's my grandmother's first computer. As far as I know, anyway. Maybe second. First one I've seen her with. And she used it up until 2000 and... I can't remember. I think it was either 2000... And 15 or 2016. I've had it for a little bit. Unfortunately, it's got one of those glossy display panels, so you can see the moron who is talking into his camera on YouTube. Um, I've never really understood the point of this. I guess it's like a slide wheel. I've never really been able to get it to work. I don't really care. It's got two click buttons, which is unfortunately something that a lot of trackpads are doing away with. You see, trackpads were awful when they first came out. Remember trackpads on machines like that? They didn't work worth a crap. And they started to get better with them. With these, uh, these sort of things where the accuracy was much improved, they had nice buttons, and then they destroyed them by bringing out those click pads. I absolutely cannot stand click pads because they don't work. And anybody that says they work is wrong. Have you ever tried to right-click with a click pad? Good luck, you gotta do it more than once. But that's not really the point of the video. You can see the nice keyboard. Real keyboard, too, even though this is a budget-oriented machine. You can also tell that it has not really seen much use. There's a little bit of wear on the spacebar, and there's a little bit of wear on some of the more used keys, but not really much. This thing was rarely ever used. There's something else that was common then, and is still common now, although it's been mostly standardized. Excuse me. Those hotkeys, which only work when you've got their software installed. This thing is running the factory build. Well, actually, it's the second build, but it comes from the recovery CD of Windows XP Media Center Edition. We're going to go ahead, pound this up, and go online with it, and see how YouTube does on something like this. This is also one of those rare machines that has got a line input, but no line output. For laptops, anyways, that's not very common. This machine will not win any speed records. I'm not really sure how much tape space I have, and I have a feeling that the battery in the camcorder will die before I manage to get... Oh, look at this, disk check. Let's not do that. That'll take forever. So here we can see... It could be a lot worse. Let's go open a browser. Will not win speed records. What if the wireless is actually on? Okay, I thought it was going to give me a little bit more warning than that. But I guess not. Anyway, it is connected. At least it reports that it's connected to the Wi-Fi. But this web page doesn't exist. I don't know. Let's go to Google. See if Google will work. This is uh, Internet Explorer 8, I believe. Yes. 
like E8.0. Right, 2009 Microsoft. Let's see if this page still exists. <laughs> oh wow, man, that doesn't really look that good. It doesn't say anything about NCSA Mosaic though, unless it does. Let's just see if we can find. Yeah, it does not show anything about NCSA Mosaic, which is, for those of you who actually know the background of Internet Explorer, that is what IE is based on. Um, earlier versions made note of the fact that it was based on NCSA Mosaic. I think even IE5 and maybe even IE6 did. But I guess IE8 does not. Yeah, I told it to bring up system info and it just closed. And that's a great sign. Oh, here we go. System information. Alright. Well, that's a useless processor thing. Alright, I'm gonna close that. And I'll bring up the good one so you can actually see what's in this thing. Oh boy, let's see here. Yeah, Celeron M410 at 1.46 gigahertz. And 1 gig of RAM. Powerhouse. Definitely still has the Acer badge on it, which shows me that this is the usual. This is one of the OEM builds, and I'm about to run out of space in this tape about about five minutes. So let's go to YouTube. That was what I was gonna do. See how YouTube does. In fact, I'll go to my channel. And just to make sure I do not get any autoplay. We'll do that. I don't know if it's even going to work. should theoretically be connected to the network. Might have to do some doing. <laughs> okay, well that works real well, as you can probably tell. Come on, focus. Okay, I think the camcorder has lost the plot. And the light's on, but nobody's home. Let's go download a real browser. Screw downloading it, I'll just get it from the NAS. Much easier. Uh, I was prepared to tell you that this was going to work a whole lot better, but it looks like once again the lights are on and no one's home. Oh, here we go. This is one of my other channels, which you shouldn't watch, but it's there anyway. This is the vlogging channel. And of course there are several more. If we go over here, you can see a list of them. I think this list even includes all of them. Looks like it does. Well, there's one more. There's a low-end radio archives. And you can see I'm subscribed to myself on all of them. That was to make sure the videos were actually getting out to people with subscriptions feeds. If people remember that issue, it might even still be a thing. But, I don't know. I uploaded a video to that channel and no one cared, so I don't know. Maybe I just won't waste my time with it anymore. Well, let's go to what we were going to do in the first place, and that was try and watch a YouTube video on this particular computer and see what happens. 360p. Turn off autoplay. Hopefully it loads before I run out of tape space. Okay, well, it's been a while since I've published the video to this channel. Um, unfortunately, I've missed my Christmas. That doesn't work very well, now, does it? No, but 46 minutes. That's the time it is right now. So, oopsie, but this is going to be the Christmas. It is watchable, though. Well, I will give it that. Wonderful Christmas. Holy crap. Shut up. Celebrate. Shut up, you windbag. Um, Nobody wants to listen why. to you. It is watchable. Um, Not very well, but... Oh, that's the only option. What a piece of crap. 
You know, I was a bust. I tried uh, spoofing my user agent because this is CMonkey, which doesn't rapid release, so I had to change the user agent screen to report that it was Firefox 57. Which is technically true, it's about roughly equivalent, it's the same Gecko version, but I still don't have any other options than 360p. So that's about all that I can think of to say. Thank you for watching. About to run out of tape space. If you've got any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Till then, hope you enjoyed it. It's another computer video. I've got several more that are coming up, even after I'm recording this. I don't know how what order they're going to be uploaded in, but they will be uploaded. Trust me. I wonder if this thing will shut down before the tape ends. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yes, it has a laptop CPU sitting out there. No, it doesn't work. At least I don't think it does. It's not anything high-end anyway. Yeah. And it's still recording. Miracle. Because I'm curious how much longer the tape is going to last, I'm going to tell you all that this thing has a working battery. Which is amazing don't really know how that is a thing, but it is. This is the Dell Latitude Owl M. No changes done to it since the last time I made a video. And it looks like camera has lost.